Okay, I want to show you briefly how this operates. Um, you can do music, movie, record, voice, FM radio, photo, and then different uh, setup options, ebook, games. So the music component. Uh, what's a little bit different is you hit the menu button to kind of toggle through. There is no you know toggle like that. Um, and this middle button, uh, it's not as, it, it, it works, but it's uh, not as functional. There's not as many reasons to hit it, so. Um, it does start your music, this middle button, and it, and it also, if you hold it in, it turns it off. Otherwise, it's not quite as useful as you might think. The menu button, that, uh, that gives you your options. Uh, if you want to do a repeat or random, um, normal, which is just switching in between songs. Uh, if you want to do different folders, I like the random. That's predominantly what I use. Um, so it's on song 157. I hit the next song. And it's on song 449. It's a little bit difficult to tog toggle through. Um, But anyway, that gives you an idea of how it works. So there's different uh, types of sounds. Natural, rock, pop, classic, soft. I would say for most purposes you just use natural or classic or whatever the case is. But um, uh, to go into... If you hold the menu button, you go back to the screen here. Um, I will go to the radio. So if you press the left and right toggle, it'll scan for radio stations. So I found one there, but that's basically how that works. There's different ones. You can save the radio station, but let's go back to the menu. We'll go to setup. You do clock, uh, dark mode. Language, power off, uh, so different things there. So that's a quick look at it. It uh, overall, it's it's nice. You got a lot of functions um, for in this price range. There's eight eight um, gigabytes of memory uh, for a cheap price. Uh, you know, compared to the alternative iPod, it's a heck of a lot less expensive. It's not quite as intuitive with the menu options and the clicks. Uh, there is no scroll. Um, but the music quality is the same. Um, it'd be nice if this input here was, you know, the same as like an Android phone or an Apple phone or whatever, um, rather than this mini USB, I guess. But not a big deal. Again, in this price range, you know, you're basically wanting, more than likely, you're just wanting to listen to music. Like I said, I listen to random. It's a little bit difficult to find individual songs. Maybe not difficult, but hard to get to them. Um, so if you like random or shuffle, it uh, it's definitely well set up for that, and it's fully capable of doing that. But um, so if you don't mind those small limitations, this is a a great little unit and at a great price. So I hope you find this review helpful. Thanks.